Hello party people. I have a massive baby haul slash postpartum haul for you. I think that's the longest it took me to ever bring everything into one room in order to show you. And I don't even have everything. If I'm being quite honest, I have, I don't know, 90% of this out. Let's just get into it. I'm first going to show you some stuff that I bought off Amazon for postpartum slash my hospital bag. And then I'm gonna show you everything that I got for this fourth baby of ours. So since it's our fourth baby, I thought, oh, I don't need that much, I already have everything. And then I quickly found out, oh, I need a lot more than I thought. <laughs> and I also found a lot of deals. A lot of these are thrift store items or garage sale items. Oh, I have one more item. Let me go get it before I forget. So let's first go over this little number, shall we? I cannot, okay. Do you even know what this is? Because I didn't, I found out about it when I first got pregnant, like right before I got pregnant and I was like, that looks like something I would want. Should we get pregnant again? And then I got pregnant, six weeks in, we're garage sailing, and this is what I found. This retails for almost $200, like I wanna say 180 bucks. You're not going to believe what I spent on this. Because I didn't believe it. $5, $5. I was like, even if it doesn't work like, like the lady says it does, it's $5, what? So it's Graco. It's a sleeper, so I think it takes batteries. I'm not even sure this goes with it. It's just, it's just been hanging out in my garage with a blanket over it. I will wash it, no worries. But it rocks them to sleep, and I've heard so many magical things about this. So I'm really excited to try it. I love that it's gender neutral colors, and I love that it was $5. Gotta take a water break. Stepping in my garage for literally five seconds to grab that thing, I am dripping in sweat. Slash, you guys know my issue with wearing three quarter length sleeves while I'm filming a video in a, in a room that has no fan. <sighs> I'm just waiting for fall. Okay, that's probably the most exciting baby thing that I got, but I wanted to share with you some gem items if you're packing your hospital bag or um, planning for a postpartum. Some things that I think are really, really gonna help you out that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, okay? The first thing is this After Ease Tincture. I'm not really sure what it is. I got this off Amazon and it's just a little like liquid concoction. They're relaxing herbs to ease afterbirth discomforts. So after you deliver, uh, every time you breastfeed, your uterus contracts, which is great, which is exactly what we wanted to do uh, because it needs to go back to pre-pregnancy size, you know? But after each passing pregnancy that you have, those contractions get a little more intense each time. I remember having to breathe through them um, after I had my third. Like, ooh, they took my breath away a little bit. I was like, dang, this is crazy. They only last for a couple days, maybe three days max but I've heard a lot of great things about this after ease stuff. So it's in a dropper bottle and you just put some in water. I'm sure you could put it directly into your mouth as well. I'm sure it doesn't taste that good. You use two to four droppers full in water and repeat if needed for desired effect. So I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it relieves some of the after pains, which is what they're called, after pains. Something else that I'm excited about that I feel like no one ever talks about. Um, I got this 16 inch ring cushion. It provides comfort and support. Uh, they have these in a couple sizes, but I just got this 16 inch. Most people bring a breastfeeding pillow to the hospital. I'm bringing a butt pillow, okay? this That's what this is for, it's for your bum. It's like a little donut that you sit on because can I tell you, with after every labor I've had, I've needed stitches. Good for you if you're one of those people who doesn't need stitches, but my babies are big, they come fast. I don't prep, a, I don't know what happens. I just always need stitches. It's just one of the joys of postpartum, what I also call fourth trimester, slash what I also call something that not enough people focus on. I feel like people focus more on labor and delivery, but I feel like people need to focus more on the fourth trimester postpartum time because that is a challenging time. Okay, so when you have stitches in that region, it's not very comfortable to sit in a normal position. You know what I mean? So to combat that, to not sit directly <laughs> on your stitches, for me anyway, I kind of lean back and my tailbone 
oh, takes the brunt of it. And I just remember feeling so uncomfortable, like even in a bed, even in like a Cushing bed, I was like, dang, this is not cool. So um, I'll be sitting on this guy and hopefully he helps me out. A couple other things I got from Amazon. <gasps> Before I show you these, let me show you something amazing. This is way heavier than I thought it would be. This is from Frida Mom. You guys have heard of Frida Baby. They sell like the infamous little nose sucker outer thing. They also have like a windy pipe now. It helps with babies and if they have colic or gas or something like that, you, it basically takes the wind out of their back end. Do you know what I mean? I've heard a lot of great things about that as well, which I also plan on buying, but they have a brand, Frida Mom. What? They have so many kits that I was so excited about, but this is what I ended up getting, just this one thing. Guys, this is not sponsored. I freaking wish it was, but Frida Mom has like labor and delivery kits and a postpartum kit. And I really feel like that would be a wonderful baby shower gift if you're going to someone's baby shower. Look it up on Amazon. It is a little pricey, but the stuff that you get in there is like, what? Amazing. So the things that I got are just the postpartum pads. And I looked into getting reusable postpartum pads that you put in your freezer, and I've made padsicles before. If you guys haven't heard of padsicles, it's where you just take a normal pad, you put aloe on it, witch hazel, maybe some essential oils, throw it in the freezer for when you're postpartum, and not only does it absorb the blood that will be coming out of you, and there's a lot of it, but it also gives you a little relief because it's cold. It feels so good. But these are instant. You don't have to pre-make anything. You don't have to fill up freezer space. How many pads are in here? So this is what got me. There's only eight pads in here. They're huge and they're heavy. They're instant. You like crack them in half great reviews on them they say that they last quite a while like 30 minutes or so or so they provide instant relief because they're icicles they're icicles but then they also absorb so it's a, like a two-in-one and it says get your vagina on the rocks i'm here for it okay in the postpartum kit they also have um, an upside down peri bottle. I already have a peri bottle, so I didn't need that. They have postpartum underwear. They have these pads. They have cooling pad liners and uh, pain relief. But my go-to uh, pain relief pad liners and spray, I had already gotten. So I feel like I didn't need the postpartum kit. But I also think that maybe the Freedom Mom is more on the natural side of things. But I ended up just getting these medicated pads, they're, the brand name is Tux Pads. Guys, the smell of these things just remind me of postpartum. And they do provide a lot of relief. So you just lay these right onto your pad. And um, I think these are coated in witch hazel. Yep, witch hazel, which helps protect irritated areas, pH balanced. It's good for all the things down there, postpartum. And then I also got Dermablast. This stuff is magic, and I don't even want to mess around with the natural stuff because I know how well this works. Feels so good. Bonus, I saved a pad and underwear from my hospital visit last year. I kind of want to share that with you. So I planned on doing a postpartum video after I had my third, but I just never got around to it. So these are the Victoria's Secret underwear that everyone raves about uh, after you deliver. These are so wonderful. I know some people don't like them. I don't know why. They feel like nothing. They're just mesh underwear and I live for these. I ask for extra when I leave the hospital. <laughs> and I wear those for a couple of days. They're not constricting like normal underwear. I don't have to buy like special compression underwear because I just don't want to deal with anything being uncomfortable because there's enough going on with my body postpartum to have to deal with really anything. And then here is the pad that I saved. I wanted to show you how massive this thing was, which is completely necessary when you're postpartum. You just push out a friggin' baby. Okay, look at this. I also brought a normal size, like a regular size pad to compare it to. This is like a Target brand, regular. Can you see the size difference on this thing? And then I also brought like a super long overnight pad. So pretty similar in length, but as you can tell, the hospital one is much wider because you're gonna need that crap. 
Anyway, I just always think it's so funny how people talk about the underwear and the pads. It's very necessary, okay? <laughs> Moving on. Oh my gosh. I also got some socks. I'll link everything that I got below to you. They're grippy socks. I think these are yoga socks, but um, I'm gonna use them in the hospital. Last time around, I just wore normal socks, which was totally fine, um, but I did feel like I had to step lightly and I was so worried that my water was gonna break everywhere and then I would slip and fall and die. So just have something with a grip, okay? I also, guys, I am so thankful for you. A lot of you have been asking if I have a P.O. box. I do have a P.O. box. Jessica, you sent me something and I cried in the car. I, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just not that great at gifts. I always feel like I'm just not worthy. But thank you so much, you're so sweet for sending this to me. Like without my knowledge or any, I just went to my P.O. box and I, found this package and I was like, what could it be? And it's a freaking diaper bag. Because I've been like, well, what kind of diaper bag am I gonna get? I have no idea and they're expensive and I don't, I just don't know. And look how beautiful this one is. So I, and it's a backpack diaper bag. You guys know what the best thing is to buy and sometimes I don't. So I am so thankful that you got this for me. It's beautiful. I can't wait to put it to good use. There's even pockets on the bag. This thing's crazy. I think it's like an access zipper, but you guys are so kind to me and I am just not even worthy of your love. <laughs> I also grabbed this Pink Stork Labor Prep Tea. I typically always drink like a pregnancy tea in my third trimester. I have been cleared by my midwife since I do have my complication. She wanted me to wait a little bit until I started drinking this. This tea tastes really good. I am a huge fan, you guys know, of Pink Stork products, hashtag non-spons. Their prenatal vitamin like changed my life. <laughs> I'm trying to not be dramatic about it, but also they're amazing because the gelatin capsules are flavored. I think it's like a vanilla flavor. And in my first trimester, I could not stomach anything and I could keep those things down with ease. So I fell in love with Pink Store products. Really like this tea as well. I think this is a sweetened one. They all, this is sweet floral. They also have a non-sweetened one, I think. Um, but the main ingredients in this, if you don't know, if you are in your third trimester and you're like, wait, what is that tea? Why is it helpful? It's supposed to tone your uterus so that when you are in labor and you are actually having contractions, your contractions are more effective. So it's kind of like a workout for your uterus. It has the herbs red raspberry leaf, nettles, chamomile, rosehip, oat straw, and stevia. If you wanna look up um, like a pregnancy tea, I think it's called Nora tea, which is what people make, like DIY on their own if you're into that, or you can just buy this stuff, okay? It's already bagged. Okay, one last postpartum thing, then we'll move on to the baby stuff. I've got a lot of cloth diapers to share with you. So, postpartum attire, I've never really been one to like buy anything special. However, I decided to splurge, if you will, and get, these are nursing gowns, like nightgowns but with like a little nursing clip at the top. I got blue, a light went away for a minute. I don't know what happened. So I got a blue and a black dress and I'm excited about these because listen, when you're in the, when I was in the hospital um, postpartum, you're only there for like a day or two, unless you have a C-section, maybe three days. But they do come and check on you a lot, so you don't want to wear any bottoms. And I don't enjoy wearing the, um, the hospital gown which I've always done in the past and like I'm not one to be like oh I'm having guests or I want to look I don't care what I look like it's just they have buttons and when you go to nurse you have to undo the buttons and I get cold in the hospital so I wear a robe all the time so then I found it difficult to like re-button just I don't want to deal with that so I can easily click on this n little nursing clip and it's open at the bottom so whenever they come to check me every 15 seconds they can do that and then also I can wear them at home all the time and these nursing gowns which I will link below I also got them from Amazon they came with like I think these are reusable nursing pads maybe they're not but then why would they come with this like little baggie to wash them in I don't know um, I typically don't buy nursing pads because I don't 
produce like a crazy amount of milk, so there's that. Okay, one of the first things, moving on to the baby stuff, one of the first things I got for baby this time around are newborn cloth diapers. I got more than this, but I just brought two out to show you. These are also on Amazon. I'll try to find them and link them if you plan on cloth diapering. Oh, I've never had newborn cloth diapers before. We've oh, we've always cloth diapered, but the newborn stage, I always wait till their umbilical cord falls off and then I put them in like the huge ones. I mean, they're not huge. I get the Bum Genius. I think these are 4.0, 5.0, I don't know. But I had to buy new ones this time around because my old ones have been through three kids. They have seen uh, their share of love and it was time to move on, okay? So I had to buy new ones this time around. So I got, I think, a lot of 25 diapers. And like I said, the brand I use is Bum Genius. I love them. They're, it's a pocket diaper. And I decided to stick with these this time around just because it's what I'm used to. I've never had an issue with them, so there's that. But then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try my hand at newborn size because it's my fourth baby and why not? So I think I got like 10 or 12 newborn diapers and newborns go through a lot of diapers, okay? Like 12 a day and I don't expect myself to be doing laundry when I'm three days postpartum, no thank you. So I did buy a few packs of diapers to supplement and I ended up going with the Honest brand. Um, I've just never had an issue with these. Whenever we go on vacation, this is the brand that I buy and I don't, I don't, I feel like they're more on the natural side because that's what the Honest company is all about. So that's what I went with. I also, while we're on the diaper train, one more thing, I found six dollars for each of them at a thrift store these are used cloth diapers but they're very gently used like i went over these and i was like so surprised at how gently used they were i was like oh my god six dollars guys these retail for like twenty dollars like 19 or 20 dollars a piece so i was really happy to find these and i also got a lot of inserts um they sell inserts on amazon but i could not find the inserts that snap that like you know grow with your baby on Amazon so I am really lucky to have found a local thrift store close to me like a baby consignment store that had these and I bought my whole stash from them they were like a dollar a piece and I ended up spending like $25 on all the inserts whereas if I would and look, I mean they feel brand new they look brand new so you can tell that those weren't used very often and had I bought them brand new on conbabies.com or on Amazon I would have spent three or four times that amount of money. Moving on, um, since I do cloth diaper, I also like to do cloth wipes. I'm doing the laundry anyway, why not? So one of the very first purchases I got are these washcloths. I'm also going to need them, obviously, for when the baby gets a bath. These are so stinking soft. I got them from Burlington Coat Factory for $6 and there was 10 in here. I thought that was such a great deal because of the quality of these. And then I went ahead and got this 24 pack of washcloths for $5 and these are much thinner. These are like the kind that maybe you would find at the Dollar Tree, like that kind of thin quality. But there's bees on these and they're yellow, they're gender neutral, so I went with those as well. Oh, and when I ordered, <laughs> all my brand new cloth freaking diapers and spent about one million dollars on them. They threw in a free, what's this called? Wash bag? A wet bag. I should know that by now. Uh, so I'm happy to have this because my old wet bag has also seen its day, so I was in the market for one of those. Also, while I was thrifting, I found a wrap which is one of the last things that I needed to buy for baby. It's one of the last things I was waiting to buy uh, before I did this haul. I spent $20, it's very compared, the brand is Happy. If you've never heard about it before, because I certainly hadn't, it's like Happy with an exclamation point. They have all kinds of baby carriers. And at first I saw, like this is not the print that I would initially go for and be like, yes, I love that, ooh, give it to me. But it was at a thrift store for $20, so I was like, Yes! Online they're way more than $20. I initially wanted a Sully baby wrap, 
but they're expensive and I couldn't find one uh, around me that anyone was selling so uh, this is very comparable the material is very soft it's a lot thinner than a Moby wrap and you guys know I freaking sweat 24 7 so um, I, I just wanted a newborn carrier or a wrap whatever because the one that I have is like a sling and it, it's just not my favorite I've used it for all my kids and I I've never enjoyed using it, so I thought, let me spend $20 on something that I will actually enjoy. And I know how to use the, I mean, it's very simple to wrap. Once you figure out how to use it, it's very simple. Uh, moving on, since we're on the baby carrier train, I found another gem at a local consignment store. It's called Once Upon a Child. You guys know I am obsessed with that place. I love that place. Whenever there is anything that I'm looking for, for my bigger kids, or even baby stuff, I go there first. And normally, they have what I'm looking for. In this case, I found a basically brand new Mai Tai. The brand is Infantino. And I've had an Infantino Mai Tai. It's like a very simple wrap. If you are new to wrap it, like, this one doesn't have buckles. It's not like an ergo, but it's just as simple as an ergo because you literally just knot the back of it. It's so easy. And I use it for my babies when they're not a newborn, but also still too small for the ergo or what's another one? The Tula is also similar to the ergo. But my Mai Tai is my go-to. Love this thing. So mine has seen its day as well. It was very well loved and just time Time to let it go, you know what I mean? So I was so glad to find it. And in stores, the, this one sells for like $30, $35, check online. So very affordable compared to all of the other wraps and stuff, but I got this guy for $8.50 and it also still had the little hood on it. I was like, I freaking love you once upon a child. Again, not the print that I would specifically choose for myself, but for $8.50, I was like, I'll do it. I have so much more to show you. I hope you're still around. Okay, I got a couple things from Target. This is also the Honest Company, and they do not use synthetic fragrances in this stuff at least. Yeah, it's made without silicones, parabens, phthalates, synthetic fragrances, mineral oil, and dyes. I'm like signed up for all of that, yes please. Especially on sensitive newborn baby skin, but if I could explain the scent of this to you guys, I've been using it myself because I love it so much. I smelled this in the store and I was like, yes. Oh, what is the scent? It's sweet almond. Sweet almond. I just love it. It doesn't smell like a typical newborn baby. Last time around I got the Shea Moisture Frankincense and Mirth and I just wasn't into that scent. I'm into this one. So obviously I got the lotion and the body wash. Is that what this is? Shampoo and body wash. Yes, all the way. Oh, this is what my baby's gonna smell like. But better. Okay, a few other things that I got. I also found this when I was thrifting around. These retail, this is like a baby bath and the blue does not give away the gender. We don't know what the gender it's going to be. It'll be a surprise for all of us, but I found this for a couple of dollars at a thrift store. And even online, people are trying to resell theirs for like 12, 15 bucks. I think in the store, this goes for 20, $19. And it is the Angel Care Bath Support. And so I always get rid of our bath after our, I don't save it because it's just so awkward, takes up so much room and ugh. Does anyone else like hate, ha I just, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't, I've never found anything where I'm like, yes, I love this baby bath. So if you have a baby bath that you love, I also don't wanna wash them in the sink. Our bathroom sink is shallow. Our kitchen sink's always full of dishes. You know what I mean? We'll deal with that while well, we have to. <laughs> oh, while we're on that train, you're never gonna guess what else I got over a crazy deal. Oh my gosh, two more things. This is a changing pad. Uh, I did not get the cover. I've had the cover. I washed it and just put it on there. But this is an organic, where's the tag? I don't even know the brand, but it was made in America. I assume it's a good brand because it says 100% certified organic cotton, air core, 100% pure food grade, polyurethane, like all the, these great things, right? Oh, what does the back say? It says organic cotton straight on the back. And I needed another uh, changing pad. And changing pads aren't too pricey, but if you can find them in a thrift store, I 
spent eight dollars and fifty cents on this one i was like sold because the other ones that weren't organic cotton all that kind of stuff were like just as much if not more so i was really happy about that purchase again got that from once upon a child okay oh my gosh probably shouldn't have lifted that a couple other things that i got uh this is one that i got like garage selling so not from a typical thrift store and i don't need a swing really because i have one in my garage like a proper full-on swing but this is like a mini version and i figure i can move it around the house if i need to this is the brand i'm pretty sure they sell it on amazon because i've seen it on there so it's a swing two seat portable swing I mean look how happy that baby is is all I'm saying uh, when I saw the price of that I couldn't pass it up it was like five bucks some people are trying to give stuff away speaking of giving stuff away I also found this on Facebook marketplace I this thing falls off all the time which is probably the only bad thing about it that I've read reviews on Amazon about whatever I'm not gonna sit here and fiddle with it but it's a bouncer it's a baby bouncer if you guys watched my like target baby shop with me you saw this it's brand new and it's still oh that's the pamphlet <laughs> whatever it still has the tags on it's attached you guys can see that it's ingenuity it's the same brand as that swing oh get out of here anyway i like to have a bouncer because when i'm like in the shower or something i like to bring something in the bathroom with me with the baby you know, if no one's home like i don't know what's gonna happen and also if i have the other kids i don't know what they're gonna do to the baby <laughs> while i'm in the shower so i just like to have the baby close by mostly because I'm a helicopter mom and there's that I got this boppy pillow from Target oh about two years ago I don't know what happened to the plastic cover my kids got into it and just wanted to play with it and stuff but this is like a newborn lounger the brand is boppy and they sell for I want to say like $30 or maybe even 40 somewhere around there but I got this thing on clearance. I found it in the clearance section. I was like, I can't pass that up. So I'm glad I snagged it while I did. I don't remember what I paid for it. I could probably go back in my Target hauls and look, but just know I paid nothing close to $30 or $40. Oh, another Amazon find. Okay, so I wanted to buy new burp cloths. Slash, I've never really had proper burp cloths. So I really wanted to get the... Um, what are they called? Burt's Bees burp cloth. They're like $24 for a four pack. And I was like, oh, I love Burt's Bees. Let's just, I need to just splurge and spend it. And then I heard about these. I don't know what brand these are. They're like brandless, but they are quite large. They're like that muslin material. So they feel like they would be very absorbent. And they were like, I want to say like seven or $10. Oh, and if you have sorry i'm mentioning it so late in the video if you have an amazon uh baby registry two months before your due date they give you like 15 percent off basically everything on your registry so that's what i did i got most of the stuff that i got from amazon was 15 percent off so there's that i also snagged some muslin blankets again from the thrift store so this one is absolutely huge and I could not pass it up. How much was this? It was $4 for this huge Anna, and what is it called? Anise and Ian? Aiden and Anise. It has giraffes on it. I thought that was gender neutral. And this is such good quality. I got muslin swaddle blankets for when I was pregnant with Wentworth. I got a pack of four of them and they ripped and they're not as thick as this. So this must be like a winter blend or something. It's different than whatever I bought. And um, so is this one. I got these, oh, did I say I got these from the thrift store? That one was $4. This one was $5.50. Also Aiden and Anise. I don't know how they do their pricing. You know what I mean? I don't ask questions. I just know in the store, this thing is like 20 bucks. This one's just all white. And then I think I got gypped on this one. And let me explain why. So this is also a muslin blanket, $5.50 for this. But uh, the brand is not Aiden and Anise. But I thought, oh, $5 for a muslin blanket. That's a good deal. Except for I got the Amazon baby registry package in the mail. Guess what was in it? This same exact muslin swaddle blanket. And then as if I don't have enough muslin swaddle blankets, <laughs> I found these at TJ Maxx. It was a two pack and how much were these like eight bucks eight dollars for two of them I was like I can't pass that deal up and you know blankets they get stained they get puked on they got 
peed and pooped and all that stuff. So I like to have a good assortment of them in my stockpile. I also grabbed this swaddle. So my kids have never been huge fans of being swaddled, but I fear it's because I wasn't ever using one of these. I always just used a blanket and maybe they just didn't like that. So I hear a lot of people rave about this one. This brand is Summer Infant and I paid $2.50 for this one at the thrift store. I know they're much more expensive online. It's just gray, it's nothing special, I don't know. So let me know if you have like a favorite swaddle for your baby and I'll have to look into that. I will also show you the baby's like setup, the dresser that I have for the baby, but I got a three pack of pants from Target for $5, but Cartwheel also had an extra 20% off of this and they were on clearance. This is the Cloud Island. Love all of the prints that Cloud Island has to offer. So what size are those? Oh my gosh, these are newborn size. They look so big. <laughs> Most people say, oh, those are newborn. They're so small, but those look big. Um, this is a three month and these are Carter's and I spent $5 on a two pack. I also got a ton of baby clothes from the thrift store. I don't think I have bought one new piece of clothing for the baby, aside from those pants. And these are my favorite kind of sleepers for the baby. They have a little thing on the hands that you just put over their little sharp talons. And then it's like a sleeper where you don't have to disturb anything. There's no zippers, no buttons, and you can just go right in and change their diaper and not have to really bother anything at all. My, I, I make my babies live in these because they're so convenient. So I bought a lot of those, I'll share with you. And then I got a lot of onesies. So I'll share with you right now, I'll take you over to uh, the dresser. All right, so this is the baby setup over here. I have the diaper pail right here, sanitary stuff for, this is where the changing pad will go. I also got my Amazon baby box and maybe I'll share that with you. I feel like this video is an hour long already. So what's another two minutes? Uh, but inside here, I put all of the newborn diapers uh, right on top here. And then this drawer, what do I have? Oh, disposable diapers. These are just ones that I got in like little testers, you know what I mean? Where they just hand them out. So I, there's a couple Honest and a couple Pampers and I think maybe Target brand in there as well. These are changing pad covers. I have just miscellaneous stuff for the baby right there. A couple of wipes. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? Freaking love water wipes. I bought a bunch of them, but they haven't come in yet. Here are all of the baby clothes. The sleepers over here, I told you I go ham on them. Like there's so many sleepers right there. I feel like a baby doesn't need that many clothes. So here are some short sleeve onesies. I think these are bigger, like long sleeve onesies in the back. Some more onesies because <laughs> that's what we live in. Uh, some pants, a pile of pants over here. And oh, I have a couple of outfits. It's for the kiddo. I can't even believe it. It's hard to find gender neutral stuff. So once the baby is born, um, I'll be shopping a little bit more for gender specific clothing. Down here are all of the cloth diapers. I still have to stuff them, but more importantly, they're brand new. So I have to like pre-wash them and stuff. So these are all the bum genius ones. I think there's 25. And then these are the ones, oh, aside from the ones I have out there. So there's six all together of the ones I thrifted. And then these are all my pads. Nope, not all of them because I bought some charcoal ones as well. Don't know where those are, but we'll find them. As promised, I'll go through this box with you really quickly. So it's basically, you just have to follow the rules on the Amazon baby registry site and they just send you like a thank you box. It says the contents are worth like $30, I wanna say, maybe more than that, but I don't know if they are. So I got a little anti-colic bottle, a little travel size water wipes, little sample of moisturizer. Oh, this onesie's cute. It's gender neutral as well. It's got lions and elephants on it. That's cute. Oh, a little thank you card that you can send out to one person. Oh, and then these huggies. This feels bulky. There might be like two in there, that's nice. And then another Honest. I think there's wipes in there and then probably two diapers. And then here it is, the swaddle that I already ha bought. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny when I saw this in here. I thought, wow, Kim, wow. So that's really nice that you get a swaddle blanket in there because it's good quality and it's cute. Holy crud, have you stuck around for the duration of this? <laughs> 
I feel like my camera shut off like five times because I had been filming for so long. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you some ideas or inspiration on what to get for your baby or what you need to get or what they offer. I don't know. But I'm happy to say that I don't think I need to buy anything else. But will I? Yes, I will. <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I always enjoy hanging out with you. If you want, subscribe, put a little more happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.